Charles on Fire by James Merrow. Another evening we sprawled about discussing appearances, and it was the consensus that while uncommon physical good looks continued to launch one, as before in life, among its vaporous eddies and false calms, still, as one of us said into his beard, man, Without your intellectual and spiritual values, man, you are sunk. No one but squared the shoulders of his own unloveliness. Long-suffering Charles, having cooked and served the meal, now brought forth little tumblers, finely etched. He filled with amber liquor and then passed. Say, said the same young man, it bounding to his feet. In Paris, France, they do it this way. Taking a lit match, he touched it to our host's full glass. A blue flame, gentle, beautiful, came and went above the surface. In a hush that fell, we heard the vessel crack. The contents drained as who should step down from a crystal coach. The moment passed. He made two quick sweeps and was flesh again. It couldn't matter less, he said, taking a shocked, unconscious look into the mirror, finding nothing changed. He poured a fresh glass and sank down among us.